Hi you guys. Um, welcome back to Sacred Spirit Within, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, if you check out Sacred Spirit Within on YouTube, um, you'll find me. Um, if you want to subscribe to it to get my my videos and all things to do with spirit, spiritual stuff. Um, it seems to be when I do my videos, she's always catch me in my dressing gown. Um, but it's still a wee bit cool to to not have it on and um, it's been a wee while from I've done a video. Um, yeah, it's been a wee while from I've done a video. Um, I've had to, to be concentrating on myself and my own healing and stuff. But um, I got up this morning and, with, and I was sitting here with my coffee. Um, be happy, so be happy today guys. For today just decide to be happy but yeah I wanted I want to talk about um, a realization moment that I have had for myself and um, I want to talk about it with you guys so that you guys um, whether you are on your spiritual journey or you're you've just popped on to watch this video um, I want to give you guys a wee indication um, of to talk about energy, talk about your energy, but to talk about um, a, an indicator of how you can tell if you're around an energy, like if you're around someone's energy. Where's my cat wanting in again? Oh my God. Um, an indication of, of um, how to tell that you're around someone and their energy is not for you. Okay. I'm not going to say um, that's not bad or that's bad for you. I'm just going to say that's not for you. Okay. So if you just come along with me for a minute. My cat knows how to open the door. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to train her yet to close the bloody door. So um, she's down there. So uh, let's let's talk. OK, so I've had a few experiences. OK, so the one thing I want to say to you is we all have our life force energy, our, um, our aura, our electric magnetic field, our chi, whatever you want to call it. We all have it within us. OK, that, that it's it's us and it extends. Our energy extends beyond our physical body, like extends way, way out beyond our physical body. And um, I, I have uh, realized that I've had a few experiences in my life, even up to quite recently, where I have been um, if I have been in and around people who were just not good for me, I would say, um, who were just on a different level than me, um, I would, I would, I would not feel good. I would physically not feel good. Okay. When you are on your spiritual journey in life, your vibration, your your vibration is being lifted up. OK, it's being lifted up and there's so many things that come in around that, like, you know, without going off topic, um, when your vibration starts to rise and you start to waken up to who you truly are um, as as a spirit in a in a human body, in a physical body, having a having a having an existence, having a, an experience. When you start to waken up to who you truly are on your spiritual journey, you'll start to realize you'll start to notice that certain people that you've been in and around, that you've maybe been friends with or maybe family members or even work colleagues or or what, whatever the case is, will start to fall away from you. You'll start to lose, you'll perceive it as losing people in your life. But it's simply because it's simply that your energy is rising and the other person is on a different wavelength to you, so they're on a different wavelength to you, okay? But I want to talk about the physical side of it. 
of what you can actually, how you can actually tell if you're in the company as someone who doesn't have your best interests. Um, okay. So I've had a few people in my, like in the four near five years of my spiritual awakening, my spiritual journey, I have been in around people. I started to feel when I was in around a certain person that I didn't feel good. I would feel, I would maybe start to feel like if I go to meet this person, if I went to meet this person and I knew within myself that I was feeling all right, I was feeling healthy, you know, I was maybe in okay mood, I was in a good mood. And then I go and meet this person and all of a sudden, when I'm in their company, I would maybe take, I would maybe start to feel sad or confused in my mind or angry. I'd start to take on their anger or come, you know, um, but I, but the physical symptoms that I was started to, to notice was that I would feel shaky. Like physically, I would, I would feel as if I was shaken. Although to the other person wouldn't notice, but I started to, to notice that I felt like I was shaking or rattling inside myself. Um, I would also get the sensation if I was around an energy, if I was around a person and their energy had, they didn't have good intentions towards me. Um, and when I'm talking about um, Ill, Ill intentions, I'm talking about just not just negative thoughts about me. Just not nice thoughts about me, whether that's um, anger, jealousy, um, lack of respect towards me, or any of those kinds of kinds of just not good thoughts. Um, maybe just didn't like me. I I would actually know I've noticed myself feeling sick, feeling physically drained. Okay. And this is this is um, a teaching for me. This is a lesson for me. This is a, a teaching in life for me to realize that as my vibration rises and I'm around different people, if I'm around different people, um, my body is going to tell me first because I'm becoming more sensitive and yourself, if you're becoming more sensitive, your body is going to be your, it's going to be your indicator that when you're around someone, you're talking to someone, um, regardless of the situation or who they are to you. If you're around someone who has not got the, the best intentions for you, you may, now it'll be different for everybody, but for me, I have experienced the feeling of rattling, like I'm shaking, like as if I'm coming off alcohol. Um, and I want to talk about this one because this is the one that made me realize that there was a pattern. And the other one is that I have felt genuinely, I have felt sick, like as if I want to throw up, like all of a sudden it, it comes over me, I just want to throw up. And the color drains for me, and I, I literally, it's like my life energy just goes whoom and hits the floor. If you've ever experienced food poisoning, this is the, the the best that I can describe this feeling to you. If you have ever described food poisoning, or have been so sick physically that you have felt as if you were going to die. That is the feeling that I get if I'm around certain people who don't have the best intentions towards me. And it is so physical that if I get make it back to the house, like there was one time I felt I was in around an energy, I was in around a person and their energy just was not aligning with my energy and they had different intentions towards me. Um, so I found out. But uh, within 20 minutes of being in this person's company, I had to go, I had to excuse myself and leave and go home. And as I was driving home, <laughs> I had my hands on the steering wheel and I prayed to God to get me home um, before I, my energy just completely collapsed. 
and I managed to get myself into the house. I swear to God, like I said, I'm not exaggerating, but I got myself into the house. And there's always a reason why I'm talking about this. So when I got myself into the house, I had to go and lie down. And I actually messaged a friend while I was lying in bed, who's also a medium. Um, and I told her what was happening to me, like how I felt. Um, but after an hour <clears throat> or 40 minutes, say 40 minutes roughly, um, my energy levels started to come back up. So it was like my battery was totally vroom, drained completely. Um, but the experience that I had the other day, um, the experience that I had the other day, I was in the vicinity of this person, should I say. And I actually had, I actually had picked up the phone. That's what it was. I don't want to go too personal, but I picked up the phone by accident and I happened to be speaking to this person on the phone. And I was okay. I was I was actually good, you know, and and health wise, I felt all right. I was quite bubbly, you know. But all of a sudden, I started to feel shaky, <clears throat> and it was like a it was like a shakiness. It was just like a a rattling. That's the only way I can describe it. Was as if I was starting to rattle, and um. Because I was aware of it, I was able to stand my ground and hold my power, um, stand in my light or stand in my protection, um, whatever way you want to put it. Um, and I came off the phone and I was like, why the fuck did I feel like that? Um, and I realised, as I was thinking about it, I felt like that before. And I've only I've only ever felt shaky. Okay, so I want to go out right. Okay, so I need to talk to tell you how this felt to me. So it was like the shakiness that I felt was like someone like you could imagine someone who is so so hungry, so hungry, so thin, so weak of energy, um, so fragile that they were looking. Like someone, like if you can imagine someone like in a starved country, right? This, because this was what was coming to my head to describe it to you. If you can imagine someone in a starved country just looking at you, looking to be replenished, looking to you for food, and they, ca they can't get it themselves. Um, they need somebody else to get it for them or to give it to them. That's what it was like. It was like seeing someone so thin and fragile and weak that they were they were looking to me. So so they were looking to me to try and get me to give them the food that they needed to to help them. And what I'm talking about is um, energy vampires. It's people who don't even realize that they're actually doing this. But when you talk about energy vampires, it's people who need it's a need that they they need to feed off other other people's energy so for the likes of myself and yourself if you're watching this if you've ever experienced any of those physical symptoms even headaches like a sudden headache or something coming on um or just a general feeling of not feeling well after being in the company of someone and coming away um chances are you've been in around an energy vampire someone who has just sucked the life completely out of you so it's like when someone is so thin and hungry and they're relying on you so it's being you my hand being you being the light okay and someone who is so caught up in um so the visual that i gave you of someone's being starved that's what it was like someone who's like rattling someone who's shaking because they're so hungry that's the image, okay? But in everyday life, um, when you're in around someone um, who, you know, can eat and all that there and as food and whatever, but if you're in around someone and you feel like that, um, 
chances are they are what is called like an energy vampire. Um, I'm sure there's other terms for it. Maybe someone who's narcissistic as well. They feed off other people's energy. Um, but just generally someone who, when you're around and you don't feel good, that is someone who is trying to feed off your energy. So there, this person here is trying to feed off your energy. Okay. Um, with, with, with energy vampires, with people um, who are in this state, you know, they are spirit as well. We are all spirit. Um, but the likes of energy vampires, and I'm sure maybe at one stage I was one of those people too before I woke up and, you know, started my spiritual journey. So I'm not saying I wasn't. I'm sure I was at some stage. You know, if you ever like comfort a friend who's maybe going through a really hard time, um, and you're there to be, you know, a support and sometimes you come away just feeling really tired, you know, because you, you've you've given them some of your energy to help them through that difficult time. And in those cases, that is completely okay. That That is normal. We all do it. We've all been there. But in the case of an energy vampire, this is someone who may not be aware. They may be aware of their they're aware of how energy works and energy is a real thing, okay? Um, but if they're not aware of it, um, either way, they will try to take your energy. They will try to get your energy and how they can do that is by talking to you, by getting you into maybe arguments, by getting into debates, even just being in their company in an energy vampire's company they can still try to take your energy. If you're not aware of it, um, you can simply rectify that by standing in your own power, surrounding yourself with a protective shield, asking for your spirit people to come in around and protect you when you're in the company of this person. If, say, they're a family member or something, you can't just walk away. Um, but this person here, they don't really, you know, if they don't realise what they're doing, it's like, Anyone who's who's going through, anyone who's got them so deep into the earth, like so deep into fear, so deep into anger, hate, rage, sadness, uh, grief, um, neediness, jealousy, um, anyone who's experiencing low vibration uh, emotions, anyone who is so full of earthly um, emotions that's attached to fear and fear for me being a big umbrella for all those emotions that I have just told you that I've just mentioned if someone is 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 in that and they're in it so deep they need to feed off someone else they need to feed off other people to get their the energy that they need to sustain themselves okay um, and if they don't get the energy from other people, they will simply, they, they, they will simply be starved, I think is the best way to put it. Um, it's like those emotions of, of anger and, and yes, it's normal to feel, so I want to clear this up, it's normal to feel anger and and all those emotions at times okay but it becomes a problem because we do go through life but it becomes a problem when someone chooses to stay in that kind of state to stay in that vibration to stay in anger to stay in hate to stay in jealousy to stay in revenge to stay in whatever it becomes a problem when they choose to stay in it and not do anything about it so if you find yourself being angry, don't be thinking that you're an energy vampire, okay? Just because I've said this, don't be thinking that you're an energy vampire just because you maybe feel angry. Maybe, you know, you have to sort of um, check in with yourself and say, well, do you know what? I have 
I am going through, somebody has really pissed me off here, so yes, I'm going to feel anger. I'm not saying that you're going to be an energy vampire. And that the difference between someone genuinely feeling this emotion, which is just, which is justified in whatever situation that they're in, to someone who knows that someone who is who someone who chooses i have to use the word choose because there's two choices in life you can choose to sit in your anger or you can choose to, to go down a certain road in life or you can choose to make a certain decision blah 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 or you can choose the other decision whatever that may be so that so someone who is like an energy vampire is someone who is choosing to stay in their anger or in their sadness etc etc um long after the event or whatever um uh whatever the event or thing has taken place long after that if they still to choose in that and hold on to those emotions that's better to hold on to those emotions then that's different um then you'll find that if you're in your own company as someone who is an energy vampire just drains the shite cling idea. They're trying, they're taking your energy. And the physical symptoms that I haven't realized for myself over this time is feeling sick. I'm feeling violently sick, like I'm wanting to projectile vomit. Um, feeling very drained, feeling like the life has just been sucked out of me. Um, I was going to say something there. I don't know if she said or not. It's like my life shit itself. But anyway, I like to swear. Um, humor me. Um, and the, the recent one that I've been able to connect the dots, because I've noticed this pattern where I've been talking to someone. Or in around a, a complete stranger or in a crowded place and I start to feel rattly. I first start to feel shaky. Sometimes I actually think, should have I, I maybe have, there's maybe a spurt here that's maybe died of alcoholism or something. And it, prob and it probably wasn't that, it could have been, but it maybe wasn't. But I've noticed that there's been a pattern of certain people who are on very low vibration. Um, with me being in their company and knowing what was going through them, through their minds and stuff at the time that I was starting to feel shaky. And after what happened to me the other day, I realized that that's my body's warning system going off telling me that you're around someone who's not who's not um doesn't have the best intentions for you um so when i so i know now in the future and if you're watching this and you can relate to this just be aware of your body's response when you're around people you know when you're when you're around someone who has good intentions and they're not looking to suck the energy out of you um you'll feel good you'll feel good around around people you know you'll feel good around this person or whatever um they lift you up um but if you're around someone who's bringing you down be very aware of that because it is energy is a real thing our life force is a real thing if you spend your lifetime in and around people who are not good for you, like I did for the first 30 odd years of my life, you will end up, um, your physical health will be affected. It's, it's, I'm not scaring anybody. It is a simple concept. It is a, con it is a, a real thing that your health will be affected um, because your life force is being taken away and then you're replenishing yourself and then it's been taken again and you're just never getting anywhere you'll find that um i've noticed with myself that when i'm in around someone who's not good for me my car buggers up <laughs> um my my car actually starts to break down or cars should i say but anyway but um thankfully i only surround myself with a few people um and i only surround myself i only surround myself yeah with 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 people who are not going to drain me but the other day i feel was a realization 
that when I was with, talking with this person, it was just like, right, okay, I've really noticed this now, and I need to, you need to take um, action. So it's like when you find yourself in around someone who's making you feel physically ill or physically tired, or you're feeling like you're starting to rattle, either remove yourself from the situation or limit the time that you spend with them or walk away. Um, because our life is so precious, what's the point in surrounding ourselves with people who don't have the best intentions towards us? For us to waste our time and energy with that, with those kind of people, um, when we could be spending our time with people who love us, with people who have the best intentions towards us. And I want to say this here, that energy vampires, we've all been there. You know, at one stage or another, I have been an energy vampire when I was going through my stuff, my my hard stuff um, before I come on to my before I woke up. Um, it's nothing bad. Um, it is the way it is. It's just the way energy works. And an energy vampire putting that label on it is just giving you an indication of it's giving you something to to to, to be able to piece together you know to, to label something because us humans like to label things um so the best way that you can if you find yourself in that situation with someone and remember to if you can that if you find yourself in the company of someone who's very draining they are spurt as well they're not just your family member or friend or whatever partner or whatever they are a spirit having an, a, a human existence as well. So it's not, I don't know how to word this, but it, it is what it is. It's not good. It's not bad. It is what it is. Um, it's how energy works, you know, back and forth. Okay. Um, and it's about getting that balance in and around your relationships and your friendships, getting the balance of who do you allow into your circle? Do you allow someone who's not on, not on your wavelength or whatever? It works both ways. You want someone who is on your wavelength, who is, who is, who is going to lift you up, not bring you down. So it's not a bad thing. Because I do realise there is no good and there is no bad. There's no good experience, there's no bad experience, but that's for another video. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to piece that one together yet, from my understanding. Um, but for, for the the energy that we're talking about here at the minute, the, the be aware of who you're surrounding yourself with. Um, because our time here on Earth is precious. And as I say, that person who may be draining who may be the energy vampire in your life, they probably won't know that they're, that they're they're having such an effect on someone. You know, they may just feel they may feel so low in themselves, um, and they feel that you're just there that that to sort of comfort them and stuff. They may not realize that they that there's such a major effect of someone draining your energy. There's such a physical feeling that you will have. So just be aware of that guys. Um I hope it's made sense. Um for me certainly it it's as clear as a as a as a bell for me. Like it's like my my morning system went off. And in the past when I have started to feel that shakiness come on um been in around certain people in in the night of my life um i would have sat there i would have continued to talk to them i would have you know maybe maybe been there to, to give them uh empathy or even just in general to pass time um and i used to sit in that and i used to uh, <laughs> but then i was the one they were they were feeling good afterwards after our interaction and then I was the one that was going home and feeling completely drained and tired and maybe angry and frustrated. Frustration is another is another one. Um, so just be aware of who you're giving your energy to and who you're allowing into your house for a cup of tea. That kind of thing. You know, just be very, very aware. 
um, and also it doesn't mean just because I'm talking about putting a label on energy vampires um, I'm not meaning that I'm any better than my experiences the people that have been in my life I'm not any better than them it's just simply put we were not meant to be we're we're not meant to be and then we're not we're not meant to be we were not all oh, right okay how do i put this somebody once said to me or would say quite often it's not everybody you go fishing with okay it's not everybody you go fishing with so and the last thing i want to say here is If someone has ill intentions towards you, whether that's just thoughts towards you, like ill thoughts towards you, like I don't fucking like you, like, but you're going to give me something, so I'm going to play nice to you, I'm going to act nice, but in my, you know, they're saying in their head, I don't fucking like you, kind of thing, okay, but I'm going to be nice to you until you give me what it, what it is that I want, so that kind of thing, so they don't even need to say anything to you, um, they could be nice as pie to your face, but their energy reacting with your energy will tell you exactly what you need to know. Your energy, their energy will tell you if they are on a on a on a good wavelength with you, if they are on a on good intentions with you, you'll bounce off each other. Okay? You'll bounce off you'll balance, you'll bounce off each other, you know, and you'll feel good. Um, but if not, you'll feel off. You will feel off when their energy contacts your energy. You will feel off, and you don't have to be in a physical space with this person. They could be miles away from you, sending you negative thoughts. They'll not realize that thoughts are very, very powerful. When you think, when you think about someone, and you think. God, I hate them. That thought will like will literally be sent to that person, to their energy, to their aura, okay? Or like, you know, I fuck, I love her, like she's fucking brilliant kind of thing, whatever. You know, she's so lovely and sweet and you know, she's just really good, whatever, or he is really good. They'll also receive that as well. Okay, so thoughts are very, very powerful. So you need to be very careful with your thoughts too. Um, I think there's a lot of people out there, and I I was included at one stage, who don't realise how powerful your thoughts are. So even if you're not in physical contact with this person, even from a distance, they can send ill wishes to you. So it would be a good idea if you're watching this and you're aware of it and you're, you're piecing me bits and bobs together with people in your life and how you felt. Um, simply what you can do is you can just, you can just say in your head, um, or out loud, um, you can ask your guides, you can ask your loved ones, or just set the intention that they're, right, so just set the intention that such and such is energy, such and such is thoughts about me, do not have any effect on me, so set the, because it's all to do with your intention. If, you're in if you intend um, for that person's energy, for that person not to be uh, sending you any thoughts, then you set that intention. You can also surround yourself in white light, blue light, um, whatever works for you. Um, you can ask your angels and your guides and Archangel Michael to come in and surround and protect you. You can imagine as well. You could even imagine. So whether you're with this person or not, you can imagine putting a, you can imagine yourself putting a shield down. If you're very imaginative, you can you can put a shield down in front of you, beside you, behind you, above and below. Put a shield down to protect your energy from their energy. Okay, it'll not block the goodness. Um, it'll just protect your energy. Um, but yes, guys. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, I would love to hear any feedback. Um, any comments? I'm going to put this on Facebook 
and if anybody has any comments or or can relate in any way i would love to hear your your thoughts okay guys so listen um be safe and hagonye